All right, y'all already know all things sports and entertainment. So, Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes went to Lubbock, Texas. I believe that's where Texas Tech is at. Test Texas Tech. Tongue twister. But uh, they was number 21 in the country. They went up against Colorado. Okay, Colorado. Texas Tech, who was 6 and 4. 6 and 3, excuse me. And, um, hey, they ended up winning 41 to 27. Shador Sanders went 30 to 43. 291 yards, three touchdowns. And Travis Hunter also. Had nine on offense, nine receptions, uh, 99 yards, and a touchdown. So he pretty much averaged 10 yards a, a, a carry. And um, he was also doing his thing on defense. I seen Shiloh score an uh, interception, and he ended up, do, ended up doing a Deion Sanders shuffle, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But you look up now, and, you know, they're, they're seven and two. So it's kind of like, wow, you know, they, they've, they've quietly snuck up. They may be. They're either number one or two in the Big 12, and um, a lot of detractors have gotten kind of quiet on them, you know. And, and again, even myself included, I was criticized. I was very, uh, I criticized Coach Prime for that that Nevada loss. They looked uh, confused. They looked like they they wasn't ready to, they wasn't coming to play. And you know, they have proved everybody wrong. They seven and two, pretty much could have been eight and one. Was pretty close to it, and um, now they're they're potentially a, a playoff team. And you know, now do I think they're that they're going to win a playoff game, you know, or, or make a run? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that they're that they're too outmatched, and um, you know, I just I still think that you got other teams like a Texas or a Alabama. Well, I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs, but a Georgia, you know, where they they're just they're so good on both sides of the ball. However, I do think that you know they'll at least make the playoffs, and I can see them winning the Big Twelve as well. And uh, if they do that, people are going to come at Coach Prime with a blank check. It'll take the right type of school, but like a Texas Texas Tech or a, um, you know a SEC school, I can see that happening. And uh, you give Coach Prime a blank check, you know, let him do things this way. He might be able to still get the top blue chip recruits, you know. So um, you know, but salute to him. And um, and, and again, and I won't be surprised if Travis Hunter, if they. If he gets uh, robbed of the Heisman, because again, how is he not the best player in college football? You know, he be doing this thing on offense and defense. So if he don't get the Heisman this this year, it's 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 going to be a robbery. Charles Woodson, Travis Hunter reminds me a lot of Charles Woodson. Um, you know, y'all remember him at Michigan, won the Heisman, played both both sides of the ball, wide receiver, uh, defensive back. He definitely, definitely should should win the Heisman. You know this year so they might well just call it now it's, it's already been nine games give it to travis hunter you know and, and, and even with shador it should even though i'm very critical of shador again you know he's always trying to constantly make a play and i get it you're the quarterback but sometimes you got to just get rid of it but um you know he out there doing his thing he's very efficient he seems like he's a a, a leader out there I didn't like last year how he tweeted during the halftime of the game, but it seems like, you know, it seems like they, they, they all got a wake-up call after that Nebraska loss. And, I mean, I mean, what really can people say at this moment? If you 7-2, and two, okay, think about this. Let me just say this. They won three games last year. So, Dion has already increased his winning by 100%, you know. So, if they lose the rest of the games out. What, what can people actually say? You know, and, 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 and the media has died down. They're, they were no, more, they're no longer America's darling team, even though they're on TV. But people have moved on, and, and people gave Coach Palmer a pass that first year. But, you know, he's, he's, he's proven that he can – he got the right personnel around now, and he's proven that he can do his thing. Now, I'm just very curious if – I don't think he's going to stay at Colorado, but I'm very curious about that because he's going to have to get another quarterback. I know he did get a blue chip – five-star prospect coming in uh freshman this year but he's gonna definitely have to uh either either get a quarterback or, or try to figure it out but yeah it, <laughs> hey man he's seven and two what what really can people say and i and i said this before listen if you out here winning all that other stuff it don't matter all those rumors you hear and how they had tension in the locker rooms and all of that, that none of that stuff matters when you when you win it you know and i and i say that's uh really about anybody you know they 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 get they get mad when you criticize people for either not playing good or losing. But, you know, when you're 7-2 right now and you either 1-2 or two in the Big 12, what can people say? So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, salute to Coach Pryor for getting a victory today. Tell me what y'all think.